So ideal gas law states PV equals NRT. Well, why is that? Well, think of an, an equation like a scale. You have the left side, right side, equal sign in the middle. And it's just like one of those old school scales. Um, looks something like this. Where if you put something on the left side in order to balance it, you would also have to put it on the right, right? And if you took away something from the left side, you would also have to take away something on the right. And uh, it's just like an equation, except this is the equal sign here in the middle. So to keep the sides balanced, <clears throat> let's say uh, keeping uh, pressure constant, let's say you decrease volume. Well, we know that R is a constant, and for, for our purposes right now, let's keep the number of moles of gas constant. How would that affect temperature? Well, it would decrease it, of course, because sides have to be equal all the time, right? What if you increased volume? Well, you guessed it, you would also have to increase temperature. And vice versa, an increase in temperature would cause an increase in volume. Right? Okay, now let's, uh, let's keep NR constant and let's keep V constant in our system. Uh, in other words, the gas chamber or whatever it is, it's not getting any bigger or smaller. Uh, does pressure affect temperature and does temperature affect pressure? Of course. Pressure's on the left side, right? So if you increase pressure, that's going to result in an increase in temperature. Let's say you lowered that temperature, you froze something, uh, or a gas inside your chamber uh, with constant volume. What's going to happen to the pressure? Of course, it's going to be lowered inside. All right? So that's pretty much why pressure and temperature are directly proportional in PV equals nRT and volume and temperature are also directly proportional. In other words, what you do to one side, gotta do to the other.